Oh, man. Conor McGregor let a lot out of the bag in his pay-per-view he put out on his exclusive interview he did on his Notorious page going up against a UFC card that was free. What Conor McGregor did was basically challenge the UFC. Now, here's the problem. And this is the main problem here. He knows he's not being paid properly. Because there is a big situation brewing. Floyd Mayweather and Conor McGregor are in cahoots. Okay, and, and this has been going on for a minute. They have been in cahoots. This is a plan all being drawn up by Al... Heyman. <laughs> and what's going on here is they're going to play a dangerous game of us and the UFC. They're going to force the UFC to have to pay big money for their, you know, fighters like Conor McGregor, who's a big star who's been underpaid. Now, he's been the face of MMA so far, and they promoted him quite well. See, what Dana White does, which I thought was a conflict of interest, was not only is he a part owner of the UFC, he's also the manager of the majority of these fighters. He also handles the managerial part. Now, for Conor McGregor, he has a signed contract with Dana White, which represents him as a manager as well as the promoter for UFC. So he's going to try to use the Muhammad Ali Act against Dana White to try to get out of, of the contract of manager so he can go out and do his boxing thing and still come back to the UFC if they're talking about money. Connor's like, I got enough money where I can sit out and I can go and make my own money. Just doing my notorious MMA promotional company. Because he's seeing how much the UFC was getting and how much he's not getting. See, if Connor was making all the big money he was saying he was making, then this fuss would not be taking place. See, what's happening is the UFC says we're going to give you a bump and we're going to pay you this much and then we're going to throw you some peanuts. But they're keeping the bulk. And they decide what's it going to be from fight to fight. Once they knew, once it got bought out for billions, people are like, billion dollars? Man, four billion dollars? They got Dana White getting like 600 million dollars? Now, Dana White is like, look, I've been really nice to Conor McGregor up to this point. Now, this is a, this is, he's not going to like this epic fall he's going to go through if this is the way he wants to keep push, pushing. Which means that I think Dana White is already fully aware of the Muhammad Ali Act. He's fully aware of this system and probably realize it does not fall under their jurisdiction of the UFC unlike boxing but if they got Heyman on the case never underestimate anything that's going on on that side of the fence they want the opportunity to be able to make the fight Dana White doesn't want this fight to happen at all he wants to do everything in his power to block it and he's like you guys can let fighters go out and do jujitsu tournaments McGregor's like, why well, I can't go out and do another sport? That's because if Connor loses, it's a big blow to the UFC. They make a big bulk of money off you, Connor. And you know that. Putting you with Floyd Mayweather, even if they came in and said, let's come to the table. And this is what Floyd is them saying. They're not cutting the UFC out at all. They're saying, Come in as co-promoters with us. Dana White don't play well with others. 
He has never cross-promoted with anyone else. They couldn't even do that with K2 to make the Fedor fight. They want to keep all the money in-house. That's the only way he knows it because he wants to have his finger on everything and control everything. It's not going to happen. It's going to be a Mayweather pro promotional show. Everybody else is co-promoting. Co They're going to run the show. It's their fight. And that's just going to be the gist of it. So you're basically saying, I'm going to do everything in my power to stop the fight from happening. And that's where we are right now. But Mayweather and Heyman are very serious about making this fight happen, right along with Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor sees what Floyd's getting and saying, they're saying I can make that kind of money being with them, and I need to just get away from Dana White. Then, yeah, we see what's going on. So Dana wants to stop this fight from happening at all costs. Even though this is going to be a hot summer, they're going to spend this whole summer trying to get this breakaway with Con Conor McGregor, who's not going to come back to the UFC he, until this whole thing with Mayweather is done. He's let the whole world know I, my whole focus is on boxing. I'm not for focused on Kahib. You know, none of those guys, he wants to go, that, that doesn't do anything to him, for, for him, rather. The Mayweather fight is the big fight. That's the fight he wants. And I'm like, Dana, make it happen. But Dana knows what's going to happen. Dana don't believe in Conor McGregor winning that fight or looking good in that fight. He thinks this is just a knockout waiting to happen. And it's only going to be more humiliating when he comes back to UFC. And it's going to knock people's interest in Conor McGregor away. So, that's what he's trying to protect. That image of Conor as being the man. So Dana wants to fight that tooth and nail all the way to the death. So what do y'all think? Do y'all care enough to really want to see this fight get made? Because Mayweather and them seem to have the mentality of you can come with us or we'll go around you and we'll figure out a way to get around you. So who will outmaneuver whom? That is going to be the case here. It's your boy Carcino. I'm out.